What's going on guys? Riley here from RP Productions. Today I'm here with my good friend Sean. How's it going? And Sean's got his 2013 V6 Mustang back there behind us. The engine bay is extremely filthy on it. I have my 2017 Camaro SS behind me. The engine bay is not that filthy, but it could use a little wipe down. So today we're gonna go over how to clean your engine bay in uh, two different ways. All right, so the first method is gonna be one that's super dirty like mine. And the second method is gonna be one that's not so dirty like Riley's. Now there's a couple different ways you can approach the super dirty method. I'm gonna demonstrate one and I'll also talk you through a couple other things that you can do. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started because it's a lot easier than most people would think. Yet, I get the question all the time. How do I clean my engine bay? So as I said before, this is a lot easier than most people think. I don't know why people like to make things more difficult than they need to be, but uh, it's really simple. So first step, all purpose cleaner. It's like a basically a degreaser, a cleaner. This is going to be your best friend when it comes to cleaning your engine bay. Next, soft bristle brush. So this one is the Adams polishes. It's meant for wheels and yeah, this should do fine on an engine. So basically it's just soft bristles, nothing that's too harsh and abrasive, uh, but just enough to kind of agitate all of the dirt and the all purpose cleaner. And third, you're gonna need a source of water. So I've got my hose right here. Ideally you wanna use, you know, kind of light pressure. So like this one, it's a nice shower. So you don't wanna use super high pressure water and also you wanna make sure to cover any electrical components and also if you have an exposed air intake, as Sean did in this one, we went ahead and removed it and then shoved a trash bag and a paper towel inside of the intake. So basically water will not go in there. And also if you'll notice, Sean's battery back there in the corner is exposed. So Sean, throw me this towel and basically we're just going to place this towel over the battery. Now that you have all your pre-steps completed, let's go ahead and get to cleaning. So first things first, go ahead and rinse it down, get all the loose debris and just all that gunk kind of off and then we'll hit it with the all-purpose cleaner. So if you'll notice, as I'm doing this, I'm not spending a lot of time in one place with the water. I'm not just sitting there, focusing on one spot. You kind of just lightly dust it. You, you know, it's the engine bay. You don't want to just force water into places that you don't really want to get it. So just lightly dust it off. Also, as you're doing this, don't forget about the top part of the hood. Now your little hood liner, that's fine to get wet, which uh, we're going to clean this here in a little bit, but not a big deal. All right, so now that you got everything rinsed off, now go ahead and take the all-purpose cleaner and we're going to basically spray quite a bit of this all over the engine bay. So the cool thing about this stuff is, you know, when you spray it, this does a lot of the, the dirty work for you, I guess you would say. So you don't have to sit there and scrub too much when we get the brush out. Uh, this basically just takes it all off for you. You slightly agitate it and that's about it. Cool. So now I'm gonna take the brush, I'm gonna go ahead and just get it a little wet. And then hit it with all-purpose cleaner. And then after letting this sit for a little bit, basically just go over all the, uh, the big parts of the engine bay. Well, I guess just like that, everything's pretty much all wiped off and now is the fun part. You get to rinse it off and see how 
the before and after results look and see what uh, see what cleaning you did. So once you finish rinsing everything off, go ahead and put the water aside. Now you can use a towel to kind of clean off some of this stuff if you would like. I'm gonna use the Adams Polish's Sidekick Blaster, which uh, basically is just a strong stream of air that's pretty focused. So you can kind of get into little nooks and crannies that you can't reach with a towel and uh, makes drying pretty easy. So at this point, you're basically done with cleaning the engine bay. Is it perfect? No. Is it a brand new car? No. Is it a lot better than it was before? Yes. So you grab a towel, I'm gonna grab some waterless wash, spray it on there, and then basically just go over all the big surfaces, dry them off, and then after we let this dry for a little bit later, we'll come back and I'll show you a little secret step. But as I mentioned before, there is multiple different methods to cleaning your engine bay. So for example, if you have, I guess, a Mercedes or something where the engine is entirely kind of covered with plastic, basically, you can actually get your wash bucket and an old wash mitt and use car wash soap and use that to basically wash all the plastic parts and the majority of your engine bay that way. With this specific motor, that would not really benefit me that much as opposed to just the brush method. But just throwing it out there, it is a good option if you're wanting to you know, do something other than a brush. So before we move to the Camaro, there's one last step I wanna show you that's like my little secret before car shows and stuff like that. And that is grabbing a bottle of the Adams Polishes in and out spray, which is simply basically some little spray in an aerosol can. You spray it on plastic and I think vinyl. Yes, it says here that you coat and enhance faded plastic and vinyl. This fast drying formula leaves plastic and vinyl trim, grills and moldings black and dark. So just as I say, it's very simple to use. You go ahead, we're gonna shake it up a little bit and then we're gonna just spray it all. We're gonna just kinda do one thing at a time. So I'll do this whole thing first. I wouldn't recommend breathing this stuff in, but that's how you do that. So now, as we're letting it sit here, grab a towel and just kind of go over what you did to kind of rub it in and blend it a little bit. It's like right there, I missed a couple spots, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit them. And pretty much just like that, you've, we've restored this front piece of plastic here I mean, you can kind of tell after and before the spots that I missed. So when you see the spots that you missed, you can go back and hit them again. There's a good, good spot that I missed right there. So, you know, almost white gray and then nice black. So that stuff is like a really good, really good little trick that's like, ah, oh, why didn't I think of that? And it will make, make all the difference on your, your show car. And just, uh, it's that final little step. It's all in the details. So now that you've seen how to clean a super dirty engine bay, now let's move on to, I guess, kind of where most people's engine bays stand. That's not filthy, but you know, it has some, some grime and just some stuff inside. So this is really easy. This is ideally how you want to clean your engine bay. You want, don't want it to get Sean's status. You want to be Riley's status. When it's at this level of dirtiness, it's super easy to clean. I'm gonna take some Adams Polishes waterless wash and one of their borderless gray towels, spray, decent amount on there and now basically you just wipe things down this is how I clean my engine bay it's super easy it's just a little time consuming you basically just sit here wipe the whole thing down that's it I don't ever have to hit this thing with water uh, none of that so so all-purpose cleaner for dirty grimy stuff like that but I mean just for like your air box look you just wipe it down and uh, just like that I mean it, it removes all the stuff that you you know, want to remove, you're going to a car show or whatever, super easy. Everybody makes it super difficult for no reason. And uh, just wipe things down and that's all you gotta do. So there's your, you know, after and before 
it's pretty uh pretty self-explanatory i do say so myself side note if you have like a show car or just want it absolutely perfect the in and out spray that we used on sean's mustang that same method still applies so you can make it look better i'm choosing not to do it just because i really don't care but if you do this stuff works pretty good all right so we just finished up both cars i'm about to start my car up and make sure we don't have any engine codes or anything like that we went ahead and cleaned the air filter as well so uh yeah let's see if it starts up and we're all good Checking here, and there's no code, so we are all good to go. So we hope you guys enjoyed that video. Hopefully it gave you some insight on how to clean your engine bay, whether it's filthy or just kind of mildly covered in dust and pollen. When you start your car for the first time, you may notice some weird things or whatever that water maybe got on your belts or whatever. So just turn your car on, let it run for a little bit and uh, drive around. Normal driving will just kind of dry everything out. You'll be good to go, but pretty, uh, pretty easy process. As far as how often you have to do this, it really just depends on your car. I mean, if it gets to the point like mine was, where it's just kind of, you know, a little dirty, just wipe it off whenever you want. If it gets to Sean's point, then well, you probably shouldn't let it get to Sean's point. But if it already is at Sean's point, now you know how to clean it if it's already that bad. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you're interested, Sean's got a YouTube channel as well. I will put the links down below in the description where you can go check out his beast of a V6 Mustang that I don't think he has any videos of on his YouTube channel, but he will. I'll make sure of that. Thank you guys for watching the video. We'll see you on the next one. Take it easy. Take it easy. <laughs> Man, it's kind of humid out here. Switch, uh, switch sides when you're on the Mustang side. Yeah, this is my good side anyways. All right, you ready? Yeah, are you ready? Yeah. Wait, what am I, what are we saying? Improv. Okay. All right, so as you can see, RP Productions does a shit job. Don't hire him to clean anything for you. <laughs> <laughs>